we're accustomed to thinking of big, dense cities as uh, environmental disaster areas. Uh, but there are a number of very interesting facts once you start to think about it. The average uh, Manhattanite consumes gasoline uh, at a rate that the United States as a whole hasn't uh, matched since the mid-1920s when the most widely owned car uh, was the Model T. Uh, the, the average for Manhattanites is about 90 gallons a, of gasoline a year. The U.S. national average is uh, 454 gallons, and the Canadian national average is just about the same. The, the uh, United States and Canada have very, very similar uh, fossil fuel consumption figures and uh, carbon footprint, same shoe size, pretty much. Uh, the New York City residents also use less energy uh, individually than any other Americans. Uh, the, when my wife and I lived in New York, we uh, our, the, our electric bill the, for the final year that we were there worked out to about a dollar a day. We used about 4,000 kilowatt hours of electricity a year in New York. When we moved to Connecticut, uh, our uh, electric usage jumped to 30,000 kilowatt hours. Uh, and we don't even have central air conditioning. Um, it's just a, it was a change in scale, in life scale, from an urban, a, sm a small urban apartment to a 200 year old house in, uh, in a little New England town. Uh, New York City has more people than all but 11 of the United States. If it were granted statehood on its own, it would rank uh, last, 51st, in per capita energy use. Uh, Metropolitan New York City accounts for a, a third of all the public transit passenger miles in the United States. Uh, it, uh, that's four times as many as Washington, D.C. and Metropolitan Los, uh, Los Angeles County combined. It's a hundred times uh, the, pass the public transit passenger miles of uh, Phoenix, Arizona, which is one of the fastest growing, until recently, one of the fastest growing cities in North America. Uh, New York City's transit system contains half of all the subway stops in the United States. 82% uh, of employed Manhattanites uh, get to work by walking, uh, taking public transit, and riding bikes. That's uh, 10 times the rate for uh, the United States in general, and probably similar uh, in comparison with, with Canada. The key uh, to all this is uh, New York City's extreme compactness. Manhattan's density is 60,000 people per square mile, uh, which is 800 times the U.S. average and 30 times uh, Los Angeles. Moving people closer together uh, reduces the distance between their daily destinations. Uh, it enables more of them to live without the environmental disaster of the automobile. Uh, it makes it possible for them to uh, do, uh, to get to work, to do their shopping, often on foot or by public transit. And it, by compressing their living spaces, it reduces their energy consumption in all categories. Uh, reduces the amount of solid waste they produce in the form of trash. Uh, reduces the frivolous consumption that they engage in just because they don't have as much room to store all their junk. Uh, and it forces them to live in the some of the most energy efficient structures, residential structures in the world, apartment buildings. 54% of New York City households and 77% of Manhattan households don't own an automobile. And in the rest of the United States, uh, that figure would be close to zero. In 2001, uh, in the States, we passed a uh, landmark threshold, which is that the number of uh, 
registered in automobiles in, in the United States uh, for the first time exceeded the number of registered drivers. 